I'm sure you've heard the old saying, if you love someone, let them go. If they come back to you, they're really yours. And if not, they never were. But is this actually good advice? Is there any actual wisdom in that saying? Should you let your ex go if you want to get back together with them? Well, in this video, I will answer all of those questions. Before we begin, I'm Breakup Brad, and I've been a breakup coach for over 13 years. I've helped over 130,000 people get their ex back in that time. And I hope that this video will help you become my next success story. Now, uh, the question for this video is, should you let your ex go if you want them to come back to you? And the answer is, well, sort of, but not really. There is a bit of truth to this saying, which I'll explain in a second, but there's also a lot of reasons why it's also not very good advice. For starters, you know, in a lot of cases, it's totally unrealistic to just you know, let your ex go. How are you supposed to let somebody go you know, as if it's as simple as snapping your fingers and forgetting about them altogether when you're deeply in love with them and you have years of shared history together? It's just not gonna happen. Sure, maybe if you only went on a couple of dates and haven't built any real meaningful connection with your ex, it might be possible to, to just let them go as easily as the, the saying would suggest. But as I'm sure most of you are well aware, in most situations, you can't just forget about someone you love or give up on trying to get a second chance with them. So in that regard, the answer is no. You almost certainly can't just let them go as if that's all there is to it. And why should you? And despite what you might hear from your, your friends and family, Many relationships are worth saving. Many couples have a, a deep connection, a long and happy history together and so on. And in those kinds of situations, of course it's worth it to put in the effort and try to get back together and start over. If you still really love your ex and believe that you have a good shot at fixing things and rebuilding a happy long-term future together, then you probably should try to get them back. So I don't advocate simply forgetting about your ex and simply hoping that they'll come back to you. There are plenty of things that you can do starting right now to improve your odds of getting a second chance with your ex. In fact, my entire best-selling X Factor program, which you can learn more about on my website, breakupbride.com, is literally filled with proven psychological techniques that actually help make your ex come back to you. So in other words, it's not as simple as just forgetting about your ex and hoping that they come back. You can actively improve your chances by doing and saying certain things to your ex. However, there is also some truth and some wisdom to this saying if you don't interpret it literally. The advice, you know, let them go, is the part that has some validity to it because it hints at the no contact strategy and the general mindset of just not chasing your ex. In fact, I made a video recently about why you should never chase your ex if you want them back. So uh, click the, the pop-up in the top right of the video or click the link in the description below to watch that video. In essence, you do need to give your ex space by employing a period of no contact and avoiding, you know, any kind of clingy or desperate behaviors. It's true, you know, especially in the first few weeks after a breakup, that dropping off your ex's radar and ignoring them altogether is almost always essential if you want them back. Now, I've made tons of videos about no contact in the past, and again, I'll link to one of my best videos about why no contact is so essential and how to employ it properly uh, down in the description below, so you can watch that video next. But really, the key thing with no contact is that it forces your ex to understand that A, you accept and respect their decision and won't try to pester them or, or beg them to change their mind, B, you're gonna move on quickly if they don't wake up and change their mind about the breakup, which creates a sense of urgency for your ex. C, you're, you're confident, highly sought after by the opposite sex, and more than capable of replacing your ex with somebody new. And finally, D, breaking up with you means that you're gonna be completely gone from your ex's life forever, and that they can't have the best of both worlds by keeping you around while they wait to get over the breakup. So if you think about it, employing a period of no contact and all the benefits that come with it is a lot like you know, letting your ex go except that it's a proven, scientifically validated strategy rather than an act of indifference or a mindset of just letting them walk away and hoping for the best. So basically, by going silent after the breakup, you're maximizing the post-breakup emotions that your ex will be forced to experience and sending several strong subconscious messages that help to shift the balance of power in your favor. And this helps your ex forget about the negative aspects of your old relationship, let go of negative memories and feelings towards you, and reset their mind back to what I call emotional neutral. However, while no contact is critical in 99% of situations when you're trying to get your ex back, it's not a passive strategy. It requires you to actively commit to ignoring your ex and giving them plenty of space. It requires you to have you know, self-discipline and upend your ex's expectations. And it sets the stage for what comes next after no contact is over, which is reconnecting with your ex and rebuilding their attraction for you. So the suggestion that you, you let your ex go also hints at an underlying mindset that you need to have whenever you're trying to get your ex to take you back. And that is indifference. You need to give the impression that you don't need your ex. 
that while you obviously you know, would have preferred to stay together and work out whatever problems led to the breakup, you respect your ex's wishes, you won't sit around you know, and act as their backup plan, and you're more than capable and willing of moving on and finding somebody new in the near future unless your ex smartens up and changes their mind. There's also some validity to this saying because it suggests that you shouldn't beg, plead, or try to talk your ex into taking you back. As you'll be well aware if you've watched any of my past videos, these kinds of behaviors, begging, pleading, apologizing over and over again, promising your ex you'll change, they're toxic and will kill your chances of getting them back. So in that regard, it's definitely true that you're better off letting your ex go by giving them plenty of time and space because you definitely don't wanna do the opposite by pestering your ex, showing your desperation, or lowering your own self-worth in their eyes by begging for another chance. Well, no, you, you shouldn't and you probably won't be able to simply just forget about your ex and hope for the best. At least not if you really believe you and your ex have a good chance of a happy future together and if you truly desperately want them back. But if you interpret this old saying in a, in a more abstract sense, if you take it to mean don't pester your ex or try to convince them to take you back instead of you know just walk away and hope it works out, then there really is plenty of truth and wisdom to it. Please take a couple of minutes and watch my previous video on why you should never chase your ex if you want them back. Again, just click that pop-up link in the top corner or the link in the description below and watch it right now so that you have a clear understanding of how important it is not to chase your ex and what you should be doing instead to maximize your chances of getting them to come back to you. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below and don't hesitate to sign up for my one-on-one -on -one coaching service at breakupbrad.com coaching to work with me on an ongoing basis and ensure you get your ex back as quickly as possible. Best of luck out there, guys. See you soon.